What's up everybody, Shane here. I got the dog code with me. Got all my hot tent stuff in the back there. I'm on my way to the Midwest Bushcraft, kind of a camp meetup that we're having. And uh, it just started raining on me. So the temperature is 36 degrees. It started raining on me. I'm almost there, but I just had one of those days. I had a bunch of stuff I needed to finish getting ready at home. Uh, I was already packed up and then uh, <laughs> I had to get a different phone because my other phone has absolutely no service out here. I was getting ready to get a different phone anyway. We decided we needed to do that. Wife's car was in the shop. So once everything was like kind of done, I left town, got on the way here, and my phone wasn't working. So I had to pull over to the side of, or I got off of an exit to a McDonald's, use their free Wi-Fi. Thank you, McDonald's. Only time I'll ever say thank you. Last time I ate at McDonald's, I got food poisoning. But I got McDonald's, I got an ice cream shake. Oh, my dog just shook. <laughs> I got an ice cream shake and I got some Wi-Fi. I was able to reset my phone up and now I'm heading there. I'm like seven, eight minutes away, thank God. It's raining, it's butt off. I'm seeing the sign right up here saying Indian Cave State Park. So, this is my turn. Yes, this is my turn. And, uh... So depending on what's going on when I get there, I might see it soon when I arrive there or once I get camp set up. If the rain stays coming down like this, I'll see you once I get camp set up. But anyway, that's what we're doing. We're doing a two day camp out. I'm hot tenting it. We're gonna meet some people. We're gonna have some food. Um, I brought uh, the EcoZoom stove, the Versa. And then I brought, of course, some other stuff. I brought my coffee spit. Gonna have some food, gonna have some fun, gonna hang out. It's all about the good times. All right, thanks for coming along. Let's do this. All right, everyone. Well, we are at camp. It's snowing. The dog's having fun. We got some good guys here surrounding a big fire. And we've all thoroughly decided that we're gonna bushcraft tomorrow. <laughs> because today, we're staying warm. It rained on us, it snowed on us. We have this awesome guide, guide wire. wire, impromptu <laughs> shelter. So we'll probably be back later on when we get some food going on, but right now we're just living it up. They're like the already cooked rice. Look at this food on. business going on. I'll just on. cook one of them over the fire and make up my rice and chalk it up, put it in there, and it's like. Steve's got his stove over there. Meal, you know? Using the Eco Zoom. Versa. It's doing a great job. Some shrimp scampi. We got some steaks. They got some taters. Cheddar best. Natural casing. <laughs> some steaks. We have steaks on the tripod. Ah, eating good in the snow. Just woke up. Got the fire started. Got my feet sitting by the fire here. The puppy is over here. He's chilling. I put a Reflectix over him because he got wet last night. But let me get a coffee or tea. I'm doing tea this morning right away. Get the tea going. Yep. Here's the pup. He got an old jacket that I put on him when he's out there. Oh, he knows I'm talking about him. I put some reflectics over him, and he's got reflectics under him, and his bed setting on top of some. So he's nice and warm. Are you nice and warm, dude? Yeah, Cody, you're warm, huh? You're looking majestic, by the way. You are. You're majestic. So our our little shelter that we had. Okay, come here. So our little shelter that we had over there. Um, it didn't fare well. The stakes came out. Tarp fell. Snow's too heavy overnight, which is fine. None of us got up to check on it. Um, I think we're going to have some coffee or some tea. We're gonna have some tea and uh, so I'm gonna go down and get some wood, get these guys 
and uh, build an insulator wall and then put our tarp over that and then put the fire fire pit in front of us. We're in a state park so we can't build like a huge long fire which would be ideal but uh, we can make it work I think. Yeah, got some ideas. He's running around me. All right, everybody. Well, it's still snowing on us. And uh, we're right here underneath our little shelter. The did fall. These guys put it back together before I got my lazy bones out of my hot tent. Because it was way nice in there. But uh, we're getting some breakfast on the go now. We've probably got, what do you guys think? Probably six inches, maybe? Six plus. Yeah, probably about six. Six plus snow. Not bad. Cars aren't too far away, so it's not bad. There's Steve-O's hot tent. We'll go take a look at that in a little bit. There's my hot tent. And there's our giant, giant dome tent. Oh, that thing is massive. It's cool, though. Chris is over here with a non-hot tent. Chris is over here with his hammock shelter. Surviving. Let's go over here and take a look at Steve's shelter. All right, so Steve's already taking his shelter down for the most part. Let's just take a glance in here. Ooh, there's the stove. Look at that thing's a thing of beauty, Steve-O. <laughs> Man, it looks good. Plenty used. Yes, it does. It Plus, is. It does its job. Oh, it looks great. I, lo I like your little sight glass in there, man. It's still burning, dude. Still burning. <laughs> a little air intake down there. Iron See, works great, doesn't it? I actually have a little rake. I made a little rake mm -hmm. that stays in there all the time. And then, but I lost it, of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I come across it and then I just don't ever find it again. So anyways, I usually rake out all my ashes there. But. Steve's legs here that he has on the stove um, are actually adjustable. So he can unscrew those if you see that. And he can actually make this stove taller or shorter if he wanted to make a shorter set. But he has a big set, don't you, that makes yeah. it fairly tall? Twice, at least twice as tall as that, but, or I can add these even to those, so, but I haven't found a use for them. This is the perfect setup for me right now. What tent is this you're using? Oh, guide gear. Guide gear. Off of Amazon. It's about $89. Yep. And it's not a bad, not a bad tent for the money, honestly. Not at all. Did you feel like you got any snow draft in there? Do you feel like those really kind of no, helped, well, or cold air draft I meant? Yeah. I had every single one open. Uh-huh. And we started getting a little bit of a wind in from that side, and I kind of um, kind of threw up some whatever I had. I had some reflectix, and kind of put up on one just to block it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just because I didn't want the cold air coming across me overnight. Yeah. So, And I didn't feel like getting out and closing them, so that's what I did. You didn't get cold, though. It always stay nice and warm in here. Yeah, that was fine. It's great, man. Looks good. I like your little reflectix curtain. Now, Steve made, Steve made his uh, stove jack over here. It looks really nice. It's just some silicone that he had and he attached it onto the window. And it and, was uh, fresh. It was fresh, so I don't think that's I think that's why it didn't hold. Oh, it did come up a little bit, but yeah, it was fresh. So he literally did it right before he came out here. He's using those to hold his hold his pipe jack out of the way there or his stove jack out of the way. It's great looking. It's a really nice stuff. This is good, I would say, for definitely a one person in your gear. Uh, mine is larger, but you know, it's me and the boys. So that's kind of the setup that we use for that. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy with mine. It did good for me and the dog, me and the hound. All right, get some food going on over here, folks. So the outdoor McGee showed up. He's putting together his, his shelter he made. He's gonna give it a shot. I told him if it doesn't work out, we could spoon, but it'll probably work out. I think it'll work out. It looks cool. I'm excited to see the inside of it and seeing your tent. Yeah. Heck yeah, that was smart to do right here with these tie outs. I mean, you can put them straight into the ground, but then when the tarp gets cold, yeah. it can tear. So, oh yeah, it's gonna be great. See how it, uh, see how it plays out. Hey. <laughs> go. 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 Let's go running. Are you scooting? 
Are you scooting? Are you scooting? Huh? Are you scooting? Come on, scoot. <laughs> Come on, scoot. So we grabbed some picnic tables here and uh, kind of made a little bit of a reflector insulator for ourselves. Reflectix, oh yeah, this is how we're rolling today. <laughs> Still snowing, weatherman is a liar. We were supposed to quit snowing how long ago? An hour or so. An hour or so. But we're just hanging out here having a good time because sometimes some of the best conversations are just right around a campfire. Drying our stuff off. Now I'm gonna go insulate the toilet seat. <laughs> yes, I am. Enter the bathroom. So I don't mind my reflectix in my Gorilla Tape. It's so cold in here, it's not really doing, but I don't know if it's having a cold butt. So, uh, yep, all fancy. All fancy, right? All right, well you can't see the rest, so that's how it is. So I really haven't recorded much because, so I really haven't recorded much just because we've been hanging out, getting to know each other, and just kind of really enjoying being outdoors together. Um, I think I'm gonna do some more recording because I'm sure people wanna see a video of what it's kind of like just to hang out at a gathering. And we're not doing anything, we're just enjoying the weather cold weather it's rained on us it's snowed on us but it's it's all about meeting good people and making connections and then you know even planning and scheduling more adventures with them and that's really really what this is all about like-minded people you know kind of car camping not really roughing it but just enjoying each other's company and uh and joking and laughing so I didn't record too much of just the conversations because that's all we've really been doing was laughing and, and talking and insulating toilet seat lids. <laughs> but I'm gonna do some more, especially when we get some food on. And Chris put his his uh, hammock system back up into storm mode, so it's pretty awesome. Alrighty. It's kind of nice too because we got paths beaten down where we're not dragging snow up on your shoes either. Got some steak, some dogs, and pork loin on there we've really come to we've really come to like I guess congregate around this fire but it's dark or garbage it still hasn't quit snowing yet Okay, I don't know, it just seems like it is. So once again, here's our, our nice little reflector wind block. Oop, got a picnic tables. That's right, but it works. Lance keeping his backside warm. Yeah. This is how we do it sometimes. <laughs> All right, so I've got some curry, rice, and some peas, and some pork loin here. I'm gonna take a bite of the pork loin first, because I'm not gonna cut it all up. First bite rule. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that is good. Oh, I love peas. My wife would hate this. Absolutely hate it. It's amazing. <laughs> a little wooden bridge you can walk across. You can keep talking. It's okay. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Unsubscribe. We got 40 acres down here. My mother and I. We started building our camp. Of course, life takes you away from it. Oh, yeah. So I'm just. So I'm just hanging out in the hot tent. I've got the light turned down on low. Up there. Stowe's doing a great job. Take a look down in here if you want. It's 
beautiful, isn't it? I just got done filling it. So my wood container over here that sits on the front of my bed. I fill that up with wood as I'm going throughout the day. That's empty, which is fine because I'm gonna fill the stove up tonight, get a good burn, let it burn throughout the night, and then I'm done because I gotta leave in the morning. I'll show you what, what else is going on in here. A table over here where I've got all my stuff. That's good. <laughs> let, me, let me turn the light on higher so you guys can see. There you go. That's a little bit better. So, just hanging out here. Um, so I've got the stove going. My thing's empty. I've got my wood cut over here. Um, it's a dog food dish right there. That's the dog sleeping. That's the chair. And then I'm, I'm on my bed. I'm on my cot. I love, uh, I talked about these windows here with uh, some of the guys that are here tonight. I like how they actually pull zip from the top. Really, really cool. Because what happens um, with the cold air drafts, it's up here below me or above me. I'm down here below where I'm getting all this nice heat from the stove. I love it. I think the Ozark Trail um, TP tent, absolutely, absolutely fantastic for a hot tent. A super cheap uh, stove jack is Bear Paw, Bear Paw Wilderness. 35 bucks, can't beat that all day long. So we're going to um, feed the stove and I'm about to get ready to go to bed. So, we'll see you guys in the morning. Take care. So the van sucks getting out of the snow. I got Dwayne the Edward McGee giving me a pull because uh, I can't get out. <laughs> We're getting out boys, we're getting out. Slowly but surely. Like I'm blocking the old license plate number there. <laughs> We're getting out. Little Sub, little Subaru got me out of here. This is ridiculous, getting pulled out. <laughs> so really, the rest of the park is a little icy, but pretty decent. But this van has gone through a lot, but it will not go through snow at all. It sucks in snow. But you know. We made it. We're out of there. Thanks to the outdoors, McGee. All right, so we got out of the park. Trying to get out of that area that I was just in, though, camping. The the DNR, the rangers, they came through and they cleaned the uh, park, but they didn't clean the little area we were in. And we got probably six to eight inches of snow. It was tough for me to get out. The van doesn't have all-wheel drive. Thanks to the outdoors, McGee, for getting me out of there. Um, <laughs> if he wouldn't have been here... I probably would have been stuck or I would have been digging myself out, which I would have got out eventually, but it just really, really would have sucked. Um, super fortunate for that. So we didn't do a lot of stuff other than gathering around a campfire, hanging out and eating some food, sharing some drinks, but you know, it was a really, really good time. Um, doing stuff like this is something that I always kind of wanted to do more of. And uh, it was neat. It was nice to get to know some other people who have this, uh, the same likes and you know some of the similar dislikes that you have. But just being of uh, the common mindset with the outdoors and it was really cool. And you know, it started snowing on us. We were kind of snowed in a bit. And we had our shelter, so it wasn't like a, a survival situation, if you will. So we just kind of hunkered around a campfire. We knew we had our sleep systems ready to go and just BS and had a great time really cool um, I hope you guys enjoyed thanks for coming along for those guys that are watching that did come along I appreciate you guys and thanks for watching as well it was a good time and we're gonna plan some other uh, get-togethers uh, some hiking trips and stuff like that it'll just be a very full year so once again everybody thank you so much for coming along I really appreciate you watching we'll see you guys in the next video take care